It is the last part of my Telegram bot tutorial and at this video we will upload our Flask application, our Telegram bot to Python Anywhere servers. I am closing it and I think we should restart Telegram. I don't know. Oh, command. I have command now. BTC. Great. Uh, so BTC is just a regular command, uh, like the text command, like XRP or made. Just predefined. Next, upload to the uh, Python anywhere. So close, close, close. You have to sign up or login. I am already registered, so here I have to repeat my steps for creating a virtual environment and the structure of my Flask project. First of all, I have to create a virtual environment. So, new consoles section. Bosch and here virtual env v env dash dash python equals to python three dot six. Okay, now I have to activate my virtual environment source v env bin activate done let's test it with pip dash capital v we can see python 3.6 and now i have to install the flask framework the requests library and the flask dash sslify extension And while it installing, I'm just amend my script, my bot with the, the following. From flask underscore sslify extension import sslify class. And here I'm creating a new sslify instance. sslify equals to sslify class and as an argument I am passing into it our app variable our flask instance and that's all okay next uh, we need flask sslify to solve the issue with the ssl certificates Next, I'm returning to the Python Anywhere dashboard and I need files. Here I'm creating a new directory for my bot, bot new directory. And here I need to, to upload the files. It's a main.py file and tokens done next i need the web tab and here add a new web application next here i choose manual configuration i'm choose python 3.6 the Python's version here must be the same as the version installed in the virtual environment. So it is 3.6. Next. Scroll down the code section. And here I have to specify the path to my bot file. It's a home bot. 
how to know where it is. Consoles. Our Bosch console. And we can use ls ls command and uh, pwd command that returns current working directory home Alek Molchanov and the bot folder. So I'm specifying here home Alek Molchanov bot folder working directory home Alek Molchanov Python three six. Okay, and a very important thing here is the log files section and especially the error log. Uh, the whole Python tracebacks uh, will be here in this file. And now in the virtual env section I have to specify the path to the virtual environment. Home vnv done and now I need to change this file wsgi configuration file here I am looking for the flask section uncomment import sys then uncomment these three lines and the path variable here should contain a path to the flask application it's a bot folder here it checks whether the path with our flask application is in the system variable path or not if it is not then the path variable will be appended with path to our bot and here i uncomment this line my file with the bot is the main py so from main import app variable it's uh, a flask instance and save to the application variable and that's it. Save. Reload application. Okay, let's test our application. Go to the web. Uh, our bot is working. Coin Market Cap bot. It shows us our H1 header. And the last step is to delete webhook from this servio.net uh, address and to reset webhook to the new address at Python anywhere. So here, any address, delete web hook web hook was deleted great i have another address and now i am use set web hook to this address copy and paste it here webhook was set to the new address this one so let's stop our bot and let's test it again and it's working If you like the video, please click like and subscribe.